to receive and give. And then with giving, it's not just give that God says. Messiah didn't just tell his disciples to give. He said, give abundantly. Two kinds of life, or two kinds of giving for those who are saved, for those who are giving. Giving sparingly and giving bountifully. The sparing life, you try to hold on to everything. You know, you have, that's your security, I got that. No. And keep holding on. The problem, the problem is, if you have to get, 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 what are you saying about yourself? You're saying you're empty. If you have to get and get and get and get, you're saying you are inside, you are poor. You are, you don't have, you're desperate. You gotta hold on, hold on, hold on. Means you're so you're living like a pauper. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about your bank, I'm talking about in your life. If you're living that I have to get and I have to get, I have to get, you are testifying that you don't have. That is a sparing life. And when you give, you give because you're obliged to give. You give what's your duty to give. You pay your taxes. You give, you may even do your tithes, that's good, but your heart has to be into it. You know, like if, say if the offering basket comes around. And you look calm, but inside sometimes there's a war raging. You know, it's that little, little version of you with a halo and the other version with a pitchfork, you know. And it's like one saying, yeah, give, and the other one saying, ah, hold on, don't do that. You can fake it, you know, just make it look like that. You don't have to give as much, you know. But the thing is that, that the point is it's not just that you're giving, your heart has to be given. If your heart is spirit, you know, we have to get, get into the, the get into the spirit of being a giving person. And God will bless it. Because it says God loves what? A cheerful giver. A cheerful giver. There's something about how you do it. So if you want a full, abundant life, you got to get into not the, the you got to reverse the spirit of taking, I got to have, I got to get, with the spirit of I got to give, I want to give. To live bountifully with faith, you got to be flowing. You have to reject this attitude, this fear that I, I have to hold on I, because, because it's like saying I'm an orphan. I don't have a father who's going to bless me. But if you have a father, you know you've got a father who loves you. You have God you can give. That doesn't mean recklessly. It means blessed. But you got to have a decision to say, I'm committed. I'm choosing the primary aim why I'm on this planet is to bless and give blessings to others. And I have to make that unconditional. I have to sow. The farmer has to sow no matter what's going on. You know, it doesn't matter in every area of your life. I'll give you one area, not just in giving financially, in every area. The gospel. Are you giving the gospel or are you sparing with the gospel? You know, how many people have had Jehovah Witnesses at your door? How many people have been at doors with the gospel? Look at the difference. Who's witnessing more? They are. And the thing is, Jehovah's Witnesses are not many people compared to how many born-again believers, and yet they're still doing it more, far more than the kingdom of God. Mormonism, one of the fastest spreading faiths. Why? Because it's a good message. It's not a good message. The people are nice. They live clean. Nice people. They have nice commercials. Good commercials. But the teaching is not very smart at all. It's kind of dumb. An angel named Maroni... You can stop right there. I mean, and, and with all due respect to, to nice Mormons, an angel named Maroni? That's like an angel Ronzoni. I mean, what is that? The archangel Zidi. I don't know what that is. You know, and then, and then saying the Hebrews, it says the Jews really came to America, and they became American Indians. Real, I mean, you know, you know and we're going to reign as gods on other planets. So why is it spreading so much? Because they send their youth for like two years in the mission field. They sow abundantly, even if it's not good seed, and it's still there's a law of sowing. You've got the good seed, you've got the gospel, and you're not sowing it? People around you, are they getting saved? Well, they have a choice, that's right. They can reject it, but there should be some who are getting saved, or the chances are you're not sowing it. And you're saying, well, well, how come people aren't getting saved? Well, are you sowing the gospel? And if you are sowing it, are you doing it abundantly or sparingly? Occasionally they force it out of you. I'm a Christian, da da da. You know, but and, and, and how many you know, how many people have invited people out all the time? There's people all around us. God saying there's a harvest. Are you so if you'll sow abundantly, you will reap abundantly. It still may be that many reject fine, but you're gonna have people getting saved around you. The good news, so you sow. 
And even if they most, many reject, well, the Bible, you know, he speaks about the sower. Some fell on this ground, this ground, and this ground. Okay. But the one that sowed, the, the seed that went on the good ground bore a hundredfold. It's worth more. You save one person, it's, more, it's worth more than the whole world. And it's the greatest blessing to be, because it actually, it actually gives life to you. When you are around new believers that you led to the Lord, it blesses, it renews you. So the word. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts, or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA. Hope of the World is dedicated to the goal of spreading God's Word and salvation to every land and people. We do this by spreading the Word throughout the world and sponsoring compassion projects to the most poor and needy around the earth. To get in touch or have a part in God's work, just write to Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA. Or go to hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821.